Hey, what's up guys? It's Corey here. I'm in the stairwell of my apartment building uh, here in central Hanoi. This is my new apartment. Uh, I moved in about three weeks ago. Um, I'm going to spare you the six story walk up all of these stairs. There's no elevator here. And that's a very common thing with uh, villa apartments in Asia in general. But um, yeah, so this is the sixth floor rooftop apartment tour, guys. Let's go. So this is a, a communal washing machine right here outside my door. Yeah, this is my umbrella, my shoes. And this is not your traditional kind of a door. This is just a sliding door. Ta-da! And we are in my house. This is my brand new apartment. Okay, so before I get into it, I'm gonna show you guys some cool stuff about the door here. Um, so it does have this window that opens up so I can get some nice airflow. This place is all about airflow. Um, well, let me go ahead and shut that in. And then uh, what's really cool is that there is a sliding screen door. That is cool. I love this like accordion style sliding screen door. So, you know, I could slide the wood door all the way open and just have like a nice breeze coming through here. Yeah, so here's the bathroom. You can see there's a big glass door. I'll shut it so you can see what it looks like when it's closed. So that's the bathroom door. And on the inside, uh, just a normal bathroom, you know, it's got a nice little round sink basin here. Good faucet. There's me. Hey guys, what's up? Um, yeah, up here, some storage space. And uh, what else? Yeah, so there's uh, blinds there. So at night I shut that down. So when I'm taking a shower, no one knows what I look like naked. But uh, here's the view. Outside. This is the roof of someone else's place over there. That rooftop is not connected to this building. It's a separate building. Um, anyways, really nice to have this here. Lots of light. Uh, this is the towel rack. I have it up right now, but usually it's like this. But I have it up so that way it's just a nice like unobstructed view of outside. Some plants here. Uh, here's the shower. So regular shower and then it has the handheld shower head here. And it also has the rainfall shower thing here. So I can raise this up and down. I can swing it uh, up against the wall when I open the door. Um, yeah, works nice, nice and hot. And the Western toilet has a little bidet hose to like wash your bunghole uh, and TP. So this is just like a very standard, simple bathroom. Uh, maybe I'll do some stuff to it later to make it look a little bit more pretty, I guess. Um, let's look at the kitchen. So these are two gas burners. They are propane powered. Below is a propane tank. I did want to say something because in my previous apartment tour video, which also had a very similar setup with the propane tank underneath the stove, so many people in the comments were freaking out saying like, oh my God, it's going to blow up. You're going to die. I just want to state that this is a normal thing in Vietnam and in a lot of countries around Southeast Asia, a lot of people, their fire is fueled by a propane tank in the house. Having a hard line gas line coming into the house, that's like a luxury. You don't ever really see that. Uh, most people will have the propane powered stoves or if they live in like an even lower income style situation, uh, instead of gas, they actually use like charcoal bricks to create fire and then boil water and stuff like that. So um, yeah, so this is a normal thing. It's completely safe. I just turn off the propane tank at the valve on the top of the tank. Um, you know, between use. Uh, so we got a lot of cabinet space here. Let me turn on some lights. Oops. Yeah, okay, so there's one light up there. And then uh, what I really like is the lights here. This is from the range hood. It's a nice fan. So it has different levels like medium, uh, high, medium, low. And that's a very, very nice thing to have here when I'm cooking. Uh, nice big sink basin. This is my drying rack for now. It's just like a strainer basket. Uh, it works, but I'm gonna have to get some kind of like a, like a drying dish area here. 
Um, I also probably need to just get like some drying rags uh, or cloths, I should say, and you know, properly dry my dishes after I wash them. Um, yeah, so here is kind of like a little pantry thing. Uh, just, you know, I got bread and there's some noodles. There's a bag of rice. Uh, very simple setup here right now. Um, this is the drinking water, clean drinking water. It gets delivered right to my door outside and it's only 55,000 uh, per bottle and a 5,000 like delivery fee. So paying 60,000 and it's like, I don't know, like not even three bucks or like just about three bucks for this. And it lasts a very long time. Um, over here, got a hot water kettle, brand new. There is no microwave yet, but the landlord will probably put one here eventually, um, which is like, to me, I don't care because I, I just cook everything as is. I don't really reheat food anymore these days. Uh, this is my laptop. I have it connected to this TV. Um, I don't know the dimensions, but I'm gonna assume it's like 38, 40 inch TV, um, brand new. Uh, this fridge, it's good enough for me. I don't have much in the freezer, just coffee. But you know, down below I've got two things of kimchi, um, you know, samjang, got some yogurts and whatever, eggs. Very simple stuff. Uh, I guess you could put whatever you want in here, stereo system or something. I just use it as like an informal place to put shit. Um, this is a AC and heater unit that works fantastic. This is a giant wardrobe. I have to do some laundry because right now you can see inside there's not many clothes left hanging. Usually there's a lot more, but uh, there's my laundry basket and I gotta get that going uh, today so I can take advantage of this beautiful sunshine and dry my clothes. I really like this, check this out. Oops, <laughs> can I open it? But anyways, uh, so when the door fully opens, not with that table in the way, um, you know, I can pull this down and it makes just getting stuff a lot more easier as well as putting up laundry that's um, done and just like, hanging it up and then bringing it back up. It's good to go. I never had any kind of a wardrobe closet that had that. Um, over here along the corner in the wall, there is some more storage space right here. I don't know what I'm gonna use it for, maybe some books or something, but um, they have these little flower hooks. And so I just use it to hang my little jackets. Uh, put my tripod here. Um, down here in this little storage looking thing, it's not storage actually, it's an, like a valve control for the pond itself. So that's what you open that and then it drains all the water in the pond and then uh, you can clean it and stuff. So this is my place guys, like check it out. Uh, this is a studio apartment and it was listed for 300 US dollars per month and I just cannot believe that I scored this place. Um, it's very clean, it's well designed. Um, you know, it's perfect for me. I live by myself, I'm not married, I don't have children. Um, so for me, this is great. Uh, I also really like the storage unit stuff that they have going on here. So they've like, this opens up, you can put stuff inside. Um, in here is some stuff down here. I have charcoal for the grill outside, whole bunch of charcoal. Um, even the stairs here, like uh, not this one, but just this one only, there's like a storage space in there. So that's really convenient to hide away just a bunch of excess stuff. And check out this back patio area, guys. Especially today, you guys are lucky that this is sunny while I'm filming this. It's been cloudy for weeks. This is the first time I've seen sun like this in a very long time. Feels like forever. Yeah, so what's really cool is you can see I have the window open. This is a very large window that opens. This is very nice. And then um, up here, there's a closed window, but I have this one open with the screen down just to show you guys what it looks like. So I have that and so I create really nice uh, cross breeze. And then uh, here's the door going outside and there's a cool feature here as well. It's another sliding screen door. It's so cool, I love that. Now let's take one more look at my apartment from the top of the stairs.
$300 a month, guys. All utilities included except for electricity and the drinking water up on top there. Let's go outside. Okay, so right here, uh, here's some valves and stuff. Uh, and this is a filter. This is for the pond itself here. I don't know why it's not hooked up, but the landlord is an architect and um, he's going to do some more like remodeling with this. He's gonna drain it out, he told me. And then he's gonna, I guess, like change the design elements in the center of it. And I don't know what else he's gonna do, but um, yeah. So it, it's very green right now. It looks like it's just stale, like stink water, but it's not, it's totally, there's no odor or anything. There's actually three fish that live in here. Um, one's a really tiny, like beta looking fish. And then the other two are like medium sized goldfish, like maybe five or six inches in length. Um, but they like to hide at the bottom of the water. And the water is not very deep. It's like maybe six inches or seven inches deep. Um, I know it looks kind of weird right now, but I promise you it's not bad at all. Yeah, and then once the landlord actually drains out the water and puts in new fish and like fixes whatever elements he wants in here, I'm gonna see if he can add more fish and uh, get some of the bacteria that you can buy and you can put it in the water and it kills mosquitoes and it doesn't harm the fish or the plants or anything else like birds or whatever, but it just kills the mosquito larvae. Um, yeah, so this is my place, guys. What do you think? Let me know in the comments down below. There's some design elements here. That one doesn't operate. It's like a kind of like a waterfall thing that shoots out. Uh, over here, this one does work. Let me turn it on for you. The switch is on the inside of the door here. There it is. So it's another garden kind of feature. But for me, it's really not peaceful sounding. Like I don't feel relaxed or anything. Like I just feel annoyed, like someone's peeing in my pond and they aren't stopping. Like it just continually sounds like pee. Uh, so yeah, that's annoying to me. So I just keep it off. But let's go take a look out here on the back deck. Um, it came with this grill here. You can see it's a little messy right now, but um, I can do some barbecue there. I've cooked on there a few times already. It's got this really large, like kimchi looking pot. Maybe I could like flip it up and fill it with something and maybe plant a tree or do some kind of cool design element here for the back. Uh, this is just like the landlord's like work mess, I guess. I'm gonna figure out how to like organize this stuff. You know, it's got a little shovel and stuff. Uh, yeah, here's the netting to, you know, clean the water, get the leaves and whatever out. Um, yeah, freshwater hose. And then uh, over here was a tree, but the tree was completely dead. It was totally dried out and rotted out. So I just pulled it down, um, borrowed a saw, cut it up, and then now it's over here under the stairs. I'm just keeping it there so it's dry and then I can use it as like firewood or something in the evenings. Yeah, there's this little like faucet spigot thing, but it doesn't work. Uh, here's some patio furniture. This is really cool because it's heavy, heavy stone. It's not going to fly away anytime soon. And nice, oh. heavy metal chairs, a little bit rusty, but um, yeah, just really chill. I love this corner with all the um, palm plants there. Creates a nice little shady corner. Uh, there is this umbrella thing right here. It doesn't have any kind of like a canopy to prevent from rain. But um, in the summers or like when it's a little bit more warm outside to just be hanging out all the time, I'm gonna open that up and then drape some lights on it, create some kind of a cool outdoor chill spot in the evenings. I really like uh, this textured wall feature. Like it's subtle, but it's really nice. And at night when the lights turn on and shine on it, it creates a nice shadow. Um, yeah, this is, this is my place. Oh, let me show you guys um, a little bit more here. So there are some bushes here. Right now there's no leaves on them, but I can kind of see some baby leaves popping in here. So once uh, it gets a little bit warmer, the leaves and stuff will pop back up. It'll fill in this like empty looking spot. 
and that way um, you know the neighbors across the way won't be able to fully see me in my apartment when I'm walking around naked but let's look over the edge too this is on the sixth floor This is it guys, I'm in central Hanoi. The um, Hanoi train station, the main train station is just down the street there. It's behind that big white building, but it's right there. I could walk there in like five minutes or less. Very convenient. I really like this neighbor's place across the way. I love the trees, like it's just so much green. Okay, now let's go check out one of my favorite places in my entire apartment setup. And it is the roof area on top of where I sleep. Let's go check it out. It does have this uh, kind of steep wooden staircase. You just hold the railing and you're good to go. And this is it guys, up here. This is um, a little bit dirty looking it's because it actually is dirty, but it's uh, mainly like storage. The landlord put a bunch of just old stuff here. These are old like filters for the pond. I don't know why he's keeping them. They're all, they're used. Um, there's like some pieces of stone here. Maybe I could use for a project or something. Um, just like really rusted out chairs. There's this like severely rusted bike. Does anyone know what model this bike is? Is this a Schwinn? I don't know. Anyways, it's extremely old and maybe I could use it as some kind of like a like a design element up here. Maybe wrap it with some vines or something. I don't know. Um, yeah, here's a water tanks for the building. Uh, here's an unused satellite dish. Just some like scrap wood from the, I guess when he built the deck. But let's take a look at the view. So this is the same viewpoint from out the bathroom window. So we're actually on top of the bathroom right now. And uh, yeah, you can see this is very swanky looking building right here. Yeah, so I really like coming up here. Um, I'm going to be doing a lot of stuff to make it look a lot nicer. Um, so you can see it's like, it's black, right? It's just dirty, like from water sitting and stuff. But uh, this area, like just right here, I wanna put some kind of like raised wooden platform thing. So that way, if it, when it rains, the water just goes between the slats um, and then the top just remains clean and you know can dry out. That way, you know, we can walk around up here barefoot and chill and stuff and, you know, make use of this space. I think it's a really cool space. Um, all of this stuff was all just right there and I just pulled it forward and created this like little mini chill spot. Haven't even wiped the table yet. As you could see, it's really dirty. Uh, this is a stove for burning like paper and wood. You see a lot of this around Vietnam. People are burning like ghost money and stuff here, um, but you could burn whatever. So I, I might use it for like a fireplace up here. Just kind of keep warm, use all that wood from that dead tree I cut down. Yeah, so this is central Hanoi guys. Like I'm uh, like a 15 minute walk from Huan Kim Lake. Huan Kim Lake is in this direct, uh, that direction. And then actually that tall building right there at the base of it is a uh, Hoa Lo prison. It's where Senator John McCain was, you know, prisoner of war for like five and a half years at the prison, right at the bottom of that tall building. It's like right there. I can't believe I'm that close to that prison. Yeah, so there's a lot of other cool stuff. The Red River is that direction, maybe like a, maybe like a five minute bike ride down that way. Five minute uh, motorcycle ride, I should clarify. Uh, that center right there is kind of like an art center. They do like uh, like theater and musicals and other kind of like events and stuff there. Um, so that's kind of cool to be right there. And uh, oh yeah, so these two white stacks here, they're actually chimneys. And so like the lower floors, like the fourth floor and the fifth floor, they have their own fireplace. And so th these are connected to those fireplaces. I haven't seen any smoke coming out of them yet. So 
I guess people just don't use their fireplace here. I don't know. You can see these uh, potted plants here. These were scattered like all over down there and up on this roof area. And so I just brought them all right here and I made a row, just kind of create like a, a cool barrier. So that way you don't like accidentally walk off into the pond and die. Uh, you would definitely hurt yourself. But I can't believe guys, like this, this is where I live. This is my essentially backyard and it's so nice. And I have this rooftop view and it's just so nice up here. Like this is so chill. Central Hanoi, $300 a month. So you've seen what this place looks like in the daytime, especially on a nice sunny day. It's very beautiful, very gorgeous. Now let's take a look at it when it's at nighttime. So here we have it guys, just uh, standard night here in central Hanoi. Using my uh, cell phone to create a light here. Let's go downstairs. And here it is, guys. This is my apartment at nighttime. It's got the nice uh, shadows that I was talking about earlier. You can see on the wall here from the light. And there's one light down there in the water. And that's what the place looks like from the outside. So you can see the bed and the lighting and stuff. All right, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this apartment tour video. $300 a month. This is my rooftop apartment here in central Hanoi. Um, please subscribe if you haven't already. And thank you for all your support. Ask any questions and comments down below. I'll answer everything as well as I can to the best of my knowledge. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.